In group theory, Zero theorems are a very useful tool, especially for the classification of finite groups. And so I want to see a nice example of application of this, uh, of this theory uh, and classify and describe all groups of order 1,225. So a task that without using zero theory would probably be uh, quite complicated. So specifically, suppose we have a group G of order 1,225, which can also be written in prime decomposition of 5 squared times 7 squared. So then what we prove is that, first of all, G, all such groups are abelian. And also there are four cases. Only four such groups, of course, up to isomorphism. Okay, so suppose we have such a group. What, what does zero theory tell us? First of all, we know that we have these uh, zero p groups for p equals 5 and 7. So there exists, say, um, p groups. Zero p groups. Or p, sorry, p subgroups specifically. For p equals 5 and 7. Moreover, we can estimate how many of such p subgroups there are. So the what's uh, often called the third zero theorem tells us, for example, that the number of, of uh, five zero groups or five zero subgroups is congruent to 1 over 5. And also we know that it has to divide it, well, 5 zero groups will have order 5 square and they will have to divide then 7 square. So this divides 49. Similarly, the number of uh, uh, seven zero subgroups, so of order seven square, would be a multiple of seven plus one, and divides twenty five. So we see that there are no other options than having one as the number of five zero subgroups and also as the number of seven zero subgroups. In other words, we have a unique, there exists a unique, uh, say, P5 and a unique P7 um, zero. subgroups. Moreover, another result in zero theory tells us that for a, for a given p, all zero p zero subgroups are conjugated. And since in this case we have a unique p5 and a unique p7, so p7 is conjugated to itself, to itself and p5 as well. In other words, they are normal.
Okay, so I claim then uh, that in this case we have that G must be isomorphic to the product of the of these two unique subgroups. So first, let's consider. Let's prove this claim uh, in this way. Let's consider the product as the group generated by P5 and P7, the group of all products, or the, the group generated. So its cardinality, as I said, of course is equal to the uh, product of cardinalities. quotient by the, the order of the intersection. Now, of course, P5 intersect with P7 as a subgroup of both P5 and P7 has to divide, has to divide both orders. So P intersection of P5 and P7, uh, the order divides uh, both say 39 and 25 and therefore this is also equal to 1 so the, in other words the intersection is trivial is reduced to the identity element and therefore here you see that uh, we have that this order the order of the product is the order of G, since this is equal to 1. And then for G, is isomorphic to this, or is equal, I can write it is equal to this. And since they have trivial intersection, of course, it's isomorphic to the product. So this is good as a first step. We see that in order to understand G, we just have to study the possible products of these two uh, pseudo, pseudo subgroups. So uh, first of all, we, we observe that both of these groups are of uh, order prime square. And we know in particular that all these, uh, all each such group uh, is abelian, and therefore G is abelian. Moreover, we already we have already studied the classification of groups of order prime square and we know that there are only two possibilities there are only two cases for each such group namely the cyclic, cyclic group of p square and the product is at p times z e. So we can conclude that since G is the product of these two groups and there are two possibilities for P5 and two possibilities for P7, there are two times two, four uh, total possibilities. or four possible G's, so to speak. Where we have, of course, the cyclic group, Z1225, 
which obviously we can also write a product of uh, z phi square, so z25 times z49. Then we have, say, the product of z phi square with the product z7 times z7. And of course, this can be up to isomorphism. Is a, we can rewrite it as the product of two groups, namely uh, 25 times 7, so z25 times 7 cross with z7. Then the other symmetric phase, so namely z5 cross z5 cross z7 which is of course which is of course isomorphic to z5 times uh, z35 um, so 5 times 7 uh, no sorry the here is a mistake of course this is not z7 but it must be z7 squared and so this is uh, z5 times 49. And then the last case is that both p5 and p7 are the product of zp and zp. So we have, say, z5, z5 times z7, z7. And of course, we can. Uh, Rewrite this pairwise as two copies of Z5 times 7. This is two copies of Z35. And this concludes the list of groups of order 1225.